close to me, but I won't stop. No, I won't stop. All right, YouTube, I want to do a quick video on water catchment and what I got going on here at Ridgeside K9, Ridgeside Farm. Um, kind of show you. So, we're in a uh, summertime rainstorm right now, not a lot of rain, it's lightly sprinkling. And I want to show you what we can catch. So these two barrels were emptied out prior to this storm coming through. They're both 50 gallon rain barrels. I have another 50 gallon rain barrel inside and I have another 50 gallon rain barrel that is going to be for the chickens. So basically each barrel collects water off its side of the greenhouse roof. Nice part is that when the rain comes down again, it's just pure rainwater and hits the roof goes straight down that plastic roof into the gutter and straight into the rain barrel. If you can see all the holes on my roof, it's driving me crazy, it'll be fixed soon. We got hit with a tornado about a month ago and it punched a couple hundred holes in my greenhouse roof and destroyed everything inside the greenhouse because of the winds and it's all under replanting right now. What's crazy is that the plants and buckets in the greenhouse all got flipped over and destroyed. However, my flower, my wildflower garden and my two sunflower plants somehow survived crazy so anyway this first rain barrel right here I keep it set with a pond filter underneath um, where the rain comes out this is a double layer pond filter you can see layer one layer two under that is a screen so we're catching pure rainwater off of relatively clean plastic and then we have the pond filter on top which does its job catching the debris that makes it through barrel number one Barrel number two over here, I need to drain it, let it roll. So basically when you have a storm come through for a couple hours, these barrels, you collect an enormous amount of water, you harvest it. So one good thing to do is to cycle that water. And obviously as a sediment in a rain barrel or any water catchment system goes to the bottom, that's what's the dirtiest water is. The cleanest water is about three quarters of the way to the top. So as you're taking in fresh water and you're kicking out the dirty water on the bottom, you're just basically cleaning out your rain barrel. So this rain barrel is set up the same way. It's got the factory screen, which is a pretty heavy duty screen underneath of this blue stuff here. And then this, this one, I have another double layer uh, pond filter on top, which does a good job. And you can see this side of the roof. Uh, it's just a steady stream coming out of there. But that's enough to fill this rain barrel up and overflow it in literally just a couple hours. So down here, you can see we get pretty good pressure on a uh, full barrel. And that's pretty clean water. Um, would I drink it straight out of here? If I had to, I would. I'd rather run it through another filter or boil it first, but it's literally rainwater coming through two pre-pond filters through a screen and straight out of here. So is it good for dogs, cats, farm animals? Absolutely. But the reason that we catch it is not really for any of that, it's for the greenhouse plants. So there's our two outside catchment systems on this side of the greenhouse. And as we go in the greenhouse, here's another 50 gallon barrel on the inside. Now, when I collect water from the outside rain barrels, which are there and there, we put them in a three or five gallon bucket. We just transport them in here. Everybody helps, it takes about five minutes and we dump them into this one. Now this one, I also have double layer pond filter on top. So, you know, it doesn't catch a lot. It's not gonna catch micro, mic, you know, micronic stuff. However, it will catch uh, bigger particles and keep them out. And that filter is again on top of a screen. And then when we need water inside for giving to the plants to drink, you just hit it and it comes out. So it's 100 gallons outside, 50 gallons inside. To water, as you can see, I do have a drip line right here running straight off my well. It's attached to right now a mister, a heavy duty hose, as well as timers. I try to use this as least as I possibly need. So if it's a real hot day, I'll hit the mister. The mister flows here and hits the plants. I can show you that now. I'll just open that valve up about halfway is all that's needed. And you can see the mist coming out. And it'll cover all these seedlings that are starting to grow right here. So as I said, we got hit with a tornado. 
and it killed everything inside, flipped all the plants over, dirt was everywhere, it was a total mess. And um, everything you see here right now is reseeding and starting up. So I can run the mister when I need to if it's real hot or to give a little bit of water. However, we absolutely prefer just to use rainwater and feed the plants that way. And this is my last rain barrel, which I'm doing some work on right now. It's really old. I put some Linex spray on top. It had some cracks from the sun. This rain barrel I was going to throw away. However, we try to throw away as least as possible, reuse it, repurpose it. So the holes in there are getting fixed, and it's going to go on the backside of my chicken coop, catch water there, and then I'm going to route that water straight into a waterer through a filter for the chickens. You can see over here, everything is just coming back alive. Uh, here's some banana peppers reseeding. Here's more peppers down here. Peppers, 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 pepper. And then here's some uh, sunflowers that are going to come up on the inside. So that's our rainwater.